<laughs> I'm, I'm done messing around. You ready, Angie? I'm ready. All right. Welcome to the Custom Life Vlog. Right now we're on our way up to Medford, Oregon for the Awakening Show, but before we get this adventure started, I wanted to take a quick second to thank everybody who supports our channel, and especially those who go to our website, livelifecustom.com, and purchase shirts. When you guys purchase shirts off our website, it helps us out, it gets us to these shows, and helps us keep making these videos. And if you're not able to purchase shirts from our website, that's okay too. Just by liking, subscribing, sharing, commenting on our videos, helps us out and keeps us going. Oh my gosh! <laughs> A full tub of licorice! <laughs> and liquid death! <laughs> We're in Central California right now, and the drive up is always pretty boring through California. Not much going on. Not much really to report. It's hot here. You're not driving for one. It's not. Your I know. Driving. This is. I drive on these trips. When you see me vlogging and you and you see me filming, I usually do most of the driving because usually we're taking my truck. This obviously is not my truck. My truck. Uh, the other Titan. The other titty. The other shitty titty. Uh, ran into some issues a couple weeks ago. And we couldn't get it going in time for this show, so we had to use Brian's titty. The other shitty titty. The primary titty. Cruising along, we're doing making good progress, heading up to Oregon, and the cool part about it is I haven't been driving. Brian's been driving most of the time. But it's also good, because if you guys remember, on one of the trips up to the Awakening, I got a little lost. But not this time. Brian knows where he's going, and I'm just sitting here chilling. Landed. We're at the drag ship. We're in Medford. We're at the drag ship. I'll explain why we're in Medford later. I don't think I've explained that yet, but we've dropped the trailer for tomorrow for the first day, the first day of the awakening. I was about to just take this and fling it over. But it's a higher truck than you. I got it. Now we can get started. Saturday morning and we have arrived at Saturday? the show. Saturday? Oh, Friday. It's Friday. Friday morning and we have arrived at the show and uh, we got the trailer. We got here late last night and we got, dropped the trailer and got set up. Now, let me explain why we're in Medford, Oregon when most of you guys know that this show is usually in Salem, Oregon. Well, this year didn't work out. The Salem, the uh, fairgrounds wasn't available. So, uh, relaxed atmosphere, the club that puts on this show decided to come down a little more down south here in Medford, Oregon to throw the show at the Medford Drag Strip. And uh, it's a pr pretty cool little spot. We're at this drag strip. It's kind of outside on the outskirts of town. And um, what else was I going to say about that? Oh, and the other cool thing about it is it's a lot closer. It's about four hours closer than driving up to Salem. So yesterday we left uh, the desert about nine o'clock in the morning. Real, real chill cruise up here. Not bad. Got here about one o'clock in the morning last night. But yeah, we are ready. It's Friday. We're ready to set up the booth and get this weekend started.
We have been to shows literally across this country, to North Carolina, Alabama, Texas, Oregon, California, Arizona, and I swear everywhere we go, we bring the rain. We're here in Medford, Oregon, and it's raining. Fortunately, it's not raining hard, and it's not gonna rain too long, but I mean, come on, every freaking time. So I have to do my best, again, at another show, do my best Lonnie impression, <laughs> the rain. Santa, Santa, can you explain what's happening? Uh, other than rain? Uh, yeah, well, it's typical relaxing and raining, you know, but uh, no, we're doing, uh, having a little pizza feed, a Hawaiian uh, themed pizza feed for everybody uh, that shows up, we'll give them a piece of pizza. Santa, no matter what, Santa always brings the gifts. That's it. And hey, Jeff. And Santa remember, and Jeff. Santa and, and remember, Jeff bring the gifts. Remember, like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. You, so you guys gotta check out Jeff right here. He has a channel called Mini Garage on YouTube. Go to his channel, check it out. Make sure you guys subscribe. He does some really awesome stuff. He built this truck right here. This Mazda right here, which has a Kia motor in it. He did a whole build breakdown. It's awesome. Check it out. Mini Garage. Uh, Mini Garage, YouTube. So, a little bit of Eugene. Oh, shit, guys. Hell yeah. Oh, I'm not from Eugene, like so don't put it that way. No. Oh, okay. No. Hell yeah, man. Thank drive, you. A, I had to drive the car trail through downtown to get that. Hell yeah, man. That was awesome. Appreciate it. Thank you, dude. Course, thank you, thank you, thank Hell you. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Enjoy. So we just had the most rad thing go down. Our homie Adam from Oregon hooked us. You got the box the way down. <laughs> Our homie Adam hooked us up with some voodoo donuts from Oregon. Hell yeah, thank you so much, dude. Woo! Hold on, let me, I have, to, I have to school the audience on exactly. Okay, here we go. And this is, this part, this part, I know a lot of kids watch the channel. And a lot this of part, kids. You, the kids gotta leave. This is Drink not for the kids. responsibly. This is not for the kids, this is for the adults. I'm gonna explain the beer to liquid death ratio. There we go, one to one. The beer liquid death ratio, for me personally, it is different for bigger men. They don't know it's really, okay. It good. is three beers to one liquid death. And the nice part about this liquid death, the sparkling liquid death in particular, is it has the same fizziness as a beer. You don't even think you're drink, you're not stopping to drink what? water. You're st you're drinking beer, you you're do. drinking water, you're staying hydrated, and you can keep drinking. Hmm. That was your liquid death PSA for today. I feel so much smarter now. Now Thank I feel you. like getting drunk. It is Saturday and we're back out here. Got the booth all set up. They're rolling in the show. And how they're rolling in the show is the drag strip is kind of like directly behind us and that's where the show is gonna be. It's gonna be laid out in the drag strip. So they had everybody this morning come down these staging lines all the way around on the drag strip, which is gonna be fun because it's gonna be like, again, it's gonna be like 100 degrees today and I gotta go over there and film. But that's okay, because that's what I do to bring you guys awesome content.
gosh. Wow. <laughs> Dude, that is so sick. Cool. Thank you. I got a little message. Hey, Frank, my name is Tommy. Uh, I'm always inspired to go mini trucking because of you. You have even inspired me to buy my own 1968 back C10. That's a project. Keep it up. Tommy. Oh. That is so rad. Thank you so much. Can I take a picture with yeah, for sure. Right, we have, I have, we have, me and Angie have, we have a treat coming up. Now, this is the homie Gonzi right here. He's from Idaho and he has this dope ass 62 Impala and he's gonna go take us cruising in it. And to be honest with you, I have been in a lot of different vehicles in my life and actually not too many lowriders, but I've never been in a lowrider that could three wheel. So Gonz here is gonna take us for a little treat, a little three wheel treat. So it is Sunday and we are wrapped up here at the Awakening and they're leaving without me but anyway so we're wrapped up here at the Awakening it was a lot of fun a great weekend just want to take a quick second to thank everybody as always who came by the booth said what's up purchase some merch we really appreciate it I want to also give a big thanks to uh, all of the relaxed crew for putting this show together you know it was a little bit different this year having to change locations and everything like that and circumstances but they handled it really well and did a great job so a big thank you to them so thanks for checking out the Custom Life vlog. Make sure you like and subscribe, and we'll see you at the next one. Later.